Hi Leo, I hope you're doing well. So we'll be looking at whoever you're thinking about here for the rest of the year. Bottom deck, we have strength. Strength here, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Someone here is frustrated with the slow progress or the stagnation is what I'm getting bottom deck. And it seems to be this person's energy. But it's interesting. You're the second sign to come through bottom deck in your own reading. I love seeing that. I think it's so powerful. <laughs> let's see. Let's get two cards representing who this person is on Leo's mind. Now this person's... Oh, I, this may have been someone who was giving you mixed signals. Um, you never knew whether they were coming or going. They're inconsistent is what I'm getting. And some of you, um, they were at a distance or there was travel involved here. But I'm getting inconsistency coming from them. Some of you could have been dealing with a cancer. Why is Chariot here? Libra and Cancer coming through. And why Knight of Swords in reverse? Let me figure this out, and let me see if you can actually see the cards. Yeah, that seems to be fine. This may be someone who was mi who's missing an opportunity with you. Even when you were dealing with them, I'm getting a lot of moodiness or indecision. I want to see, how will this person be viewing Leo? They feel that you're still emotionally... Wow, yeah. If this person has hurt you, they're aware. They feel you haven't let go of them. You're still emotionally invested. You're holding on. But you're also in a lot of pain because of this ending or there was separation, betrayal. This few of you, this could have been a painful um, divorce here, separation. But this person feels that you're still holding on to them. You haven't completely released them. Whether that's true or not, we will see in your feelings. But let's see, how will this person be feeling about Leo? Well, there comes our stalker. Interesting. Interesting combination. So this is someone who is low-key obsessed. Um, they're wanting more information about you. Yet they're also blaming you for what went wrong here. Some of you, this person intentionally does things to get a reaction out of you. Some of you, this person intentionally wants to hurt you. I need to get out my mixed emotions. I'm getting weird feelings uh, from this combination. Because there may be. Look at when I um, split the deck. Do you see? It's almost... Same energy, page of swords, curious, interested, fascinated, inquisitive. This person's gathering information about you. They're wanting to know what you're up to. I'm almost getting revenge here for some of you, but we'll see, you know. I don't want to speak too soon. I didn't do this for all the signs, but this reading was giving me a weird energy. Ah. Okay, some of you, what I'm getting is if this person's done you wrong, whatever they did, they cheated on you, put you in a third party, whatever this betrayal was, all right? There was separation here. They are regretful. They do miss you. And they do feel that they didn't appreciate you when you were around, right? And they haven't lost hope in this situation. They feel that they will see you again. But right now, it seems that they're holding back. And this is also someone who 
The reason they're not coming forward can be their pride. So they're wearing a bit of a mask here with the chariot and justice. It's wanting to appear right. They know they've done you wrong, but they're too proud to admit that right now. But deep down, they're aware if they've done you wrong and they're extremely regretful. Apologetic is what I'm seeing. But I want more clarity here. Why Page of Swords? Because they want to come back around to you. They miss you. Why five, Six of Cups in reverse? This person, it's so weird what the vibe I'm getting. I don't get this normally, but it's someone who'd rather point fingers at you and point out everything you did wrong than admit um, their fault here in this situation. They want to appear in the right, if that makes sense. And so it's almost to some extent, Leo, a win at all costs attitude here. It's stern, it's rigid. But this person, do you see how he's in deep thought here with the King of Swords? This person's thinking about you um, a lot. <laughs> but they're more strategic here in their approach. And do you see the target here as well, right? With the bow and arrow. Yeah, this person has their eye on you is what I'm seeing. Chariot, Page of Swords. But they're trying to do their best to maintain their composure, right? and not lose themselves in this situation. So for the time being, they're keeping their distance and assessing you, but secretly yearning and wanting to come back around. What is this person's intentions towards Aries? Right now, their intentions is to heal and not initiate anything. Because when they were um, dealing with you, they, they did feel I'm very stressed out for whatever reason. And others of you, the reason they're not coming towards you is they were regretful. Whether they're admitting that to you or not, they know that. They're in the wrong and whenever they see you or they deal with you, they, that regret, that guilt, right? It resurfaces and they're not wanting to deal with that is what I'm seeing. What action will this person take towards Aries? This person's obsessed with you. I was saying they have their eye on you. You're their target. Devil, king of wands. A lot of lust, passion, desire coming through. To the point it's a bit toxic. And let's see actually, why is the devil here for what action this person will take? Six of swords. Yeah, the issue with this person is they've tried to detach, but the devil has a strong hold over them. So they're having a hard time completing the cycle or completely letting you go, right? If there was a breakup or separation. So it's almost, yeah, they're failing. They're impatient. They're restless. They want to see you again. They want to communicate. They want to come towards you. It's almost a very urgent, desperate energy I'm picking up from them. You excite them. They really like you. How will Aries feel about this person on their mind? Yeah. Wow, yeah, you're pretty clear here. So I don't think this person's perceiving you correctly. They were viewing you as someone who's in the Ten of Swords energy. You're stressed out, obsessing, and you're emotionally holding on. But in your feelings, um, you're at peace with this ending, this break. And you're saying no second chances. Judgment in reverse. I don't want to repeat the cycle with you again. When I deal with you, you bring me stress, anxiety. When I'm not dealing with you, I'm at peace. And I choose myself. I choose my peace of mind. And this person's getting their karma for some of you because they're having a hard time releasing you. That's for some of you. And others of you, yeah, I don't see you initiating anything. 
How will Aries respond if this person were to come towards them? <laughs> I think you'll be fair, um, balanced, responsible, and you will be receptive to hear them out if they were to come to you correct with Hierophant, right? Yeah, I think you will be uh, willing to let go, release um, any, you know, if there is any resentment or grudge, you will let go of that. You are open to forgiving. You're a very sweet, kind energy with Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. So I think you will be. If they were to come towards you, correct, you may forgive them here is what I'm seeing, if they've done you wrong. What is the potential outcome between Aries? Sorry, what is the potential outcome between Leo and this person on their mind? I shuffled with your sign, so don't. This is still your outcome, Leo. I was filming Aries before you, that is why I keep seeing Aries. Your outcome seems very promising here. Let's clarify why Seven of Swords in reverse. Yeah, so if there was some avoidance here, someone was cheating, lying, they weren't being honest, I do see a friendship here. I don't see any overnight, you know, movement forward, but slow and steady progress. There can be, you know, you start off as friends and build your way up from there. But let friendship be the base, the foundation from which you build upon here would be my advice. Um, slow and steady, right? But there's a lot of love here, and it seems to be mutual. King of Cups, upright. And this is both of your outcome. Right? Why is King of Cups here for... Yeah, if someone was juggling, they don't want to juggle anymore. Someone in the outcome is very sure of their feelings for the other. And a lot of you, it's this person. Because you represent wish fulfillment for them. Wow, that took a turn. Some of you, if this is a marriage, you were in a commitment, you there's strong potential you'll work um, on any difficulties together. What action will this person take March 2020 to <laughs> reconcile? They'll be reaching out, coming towards you. And a lot of you, they want stability family with you. Fours represent stability, Ten of Pentacles is long term. I see a relationship here. I see a solid commitment. Both of them are coming through upright. It's slow and steady progress, but you both can build together. It's beautiful. I, th I think this is amazing. You don't have anything to worry about here. One of the most positive outcomes. Let's get additional clarity here with this Oracle deck. A majority of you, I see commitment headed your way. <laughs> I'm willing to start a fight just to have a chance to talk to you. Just say something to me. Yeah, this person, wasn't I telling you I was getting a little bit of desperation? This person wants to hear from you, but they're not initiating. And you weren't either. Some of you may have been giving them a silent treatment. Ooh, wow, look at that. I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. Some of you, yeah, if they have another person, they may be willing to fight for you here. This person will... This bit of on-again, off-again energy I'm seeing, which I was picking up in the reading as well. Let's take a break and figure out what we truly want for ourselves. Yeah, some of you, there may be a period of no contact. Four of Swords, you're on a break. I'm tracking you down to reunite. I've been thinking a lot about you. Yeah, to the point that's all they think about is you. I'm ending my current relationship to be with you. That's twice. We have timing has been important. I want to be with you, but it's just bad timing. Perhaps we're just star-crossed lovers. Yeah, those of you that this person's in an established uh, commitment situation, whatever their circumstances are, Ten of Pentacles, um, I'm being drawn back to their overall energy, which is Chariot ruling our fourth house. So if they are living together with someone, 
with justice they're saying the reason i'm not coming towards you leo is because i'm trying to do the right thing to everyone involved i'm trying to be fair which is why we have star cross lovers right so a lot of you the star cross lovers is because of circumstances it doesn't have to do with you or this person's love for you right i don't think sorry is going to be enough i'm planning to surprise you with something better so maybe this person will drop their ego, their pride, and they will um, want to apologize to you and make things right. King of Cups is a beautiful energy. This person's almost going from the King of Swords to the King of Cups. So if this person has been cold, detached towards you in the past, ignoring you, I see them being more emotional, more vulnerable. See, King of Cups does not want to wear their heart on their sleeves, right? None of the kings do, from what I've observed in my personal life. So this is someone who likes to be in control of their emotions, but it's also an energy where you will know where you stand with them, right? So you won't have to guess in terms of, do they have feelings for me? Do they not? Let the, this person's actions will be showing you. Wow, I don't care what people say anymore. I'm ready to fight for a relationship. Yeah, this person will want to fight for you, your relationship. What is this person's intentions? I want one more. So very, this is one of the more interesting reads. I'd say the best reading. I plan on using my charm to win you over, King of Cups. <laughs> Look at what's at the bottom deck again. Finally, the perfect time to come together. Our love will prove to be worth the wait. I'm ending my current relationship. Do we or the three times? There's a lot of promise here. I get so jealous knowing there could be somebody else in your life. So that can be another reason. See, four of pentacles for what action they'll take towards you in March. This is someone who is very possessive. And King of Wands is known to be prone to jealousy. It's wands, it's fire. They're very passionate, right? So yeah, this person does not want to see you with anyone else. But I think the wow, yeah, someone's family may have been proving to be an obstacle, which I was seeing um, if this person's married, right? We have, I like you, but I'm not ready for anything serious right now. Let's keep our options open. I think this indecision, that in and out energy I was picking up on in the past. But in your outcome, I was getting someone who was making a decision and they are aware, right? If this person was confused in the past, they won't be in the future. At least in your outcome, they were sure that you're the one they have feelings for. You're the one that makes them happy. Nine of Cups. The bond we share is falling apart. I wonder if it's too late to save our relationship. Yeah, because I'm seeing little to no communication. And six of cups in reverse. So they may doubt, you know, does this connection still have potential? Can we work it out? We're not talking and you were not giving this person another chance. <laughs> Some of you, this person was in denial. They weren't, um, they weren't wanting to admit their feelings to themselves, but they are in the outcome. I've been keeping us a secret for so long, I feel nobody will understand our love. Yeah, some of you, this was a, a secret affair. They don't want to, wow. Look at this, the control. I love you, but I'm afraid what this love might bring. I'm not sure I'm ready. I'm so terrified to lose you that I find myself wanting to control you. Though I'm scared, I'm more scared to lose you. I'm feeling frustrated with myself right now. I wish there was more I can do to fix us. Yeah, you know, this person's frustrated and they're really holding on to you. Firm grip. Yeah, that frustration I was picking up on bottom deck energy is this person. What advice do you have for Leo in regards to this person on their mind? 
Well, we have lightened up and waiting. While you're waiting, ask yourself if they're really worth your time and risking missing out on other amazing people. Those of you that the situation's been moving at a turtle's pace, someone was dragging their feet, they're indecisive all the time, that is um, a message for you, right? So don't wait on anyone. Don't put your life on hold for anyone. You may be missing out on better opportunities. We have lighten up. Lighten up and, and enjoy the journey. Take time to play more because even the smallest things can initiate change within you to live life with love and joy. I want one more for you. What advice do you have for Leo? True love and look ahead. True love is like a tattoo. It will leave an imprint on your heart that will last forever. True love never dies. I'm seeing true love between the both of you. But some of you it can be because I'm being drawn to her hugging herself, right? So it can be self-love here as well. I was seeing you as healing. <coughs> Fool's gold. Some of you are recharging your battery and they're saying raise your vibration. So you do need a timeout. You need a break. We have fool's gold. Don't be influenced by money or by what looks good as the initial joy will be short-lived. Seek what captures your heart, not what catches your eye. I think I don't need to elaborate on that. That's pretty straightforward. Seek what captures your heart, not what catches your eye. But I think that is what I have for you, Leo. Hopefully this gave you the clarity that you are seeking. Do take care of yourself, and I will see you next week. Bye.